Ostriches don't stick their heads in the sand when threatened. In fact, these guys don't bury their heads at all. This myth has spread thanks to that famous idiom to hide one's head in the sand. In real life, ostriches have to dig holes in the sand for their eggs because they're flightless birds. To make sure they're evenly heated, ostriches put their heads in there to rotate the eggs from time to time. But ostriches still have some escaping mentality. When they face some threat, they can flop to the sand and stay perfectly still, pretending they aren't alive. Now, according to a popular misbelief, sharks can breathe only while moving because swimming helps them push water over their gills. Although many kinds of sharks are designed this way, many others, like bottom-dwelling nurse sharks, don't need swimming to pump oxygen-rich water over their gills. Meanwhile, all sharks do lack swim bladders, so if they stop swimming, they'll probably sink to the bottom. But luckily, a shark's body can't be compressed. That's why rapid descents or ascents are safe for them. Scientists from Japan played audio recordings for cats to prove they're truly dismissive. In those recordings, the owners of the cats called them by their names. Cats' pupils dilated, the animals moved their tails, legs, or ears. Cats heard people, but rarely responded. It's all about evolution. Cats came to people because they were attracted by mice that ate grains. They lived close to people, but were never tame. And yet, we keep feeding them. Birds are actually the only surviving dinosaurs. They evolved from theropods, the dinosaurs that ran on two legs. Yep, T. rex is a distant relative of chickens, ostriches, and even hummingbirds. In reality, flamingos are white. The bird turns pink due to beta-carotene. This pigment is found in the algae and the shrimp that it feeds on. You can change your color too. If you eat a lot of carrots, your skin will turn slightly orange. This will happen because of the high beta-carotene content in the vegetable. Sailors from all over the world talked about the giant squid they met on their voyages. For many years, scientists considered monsters with long tentacles to be a myth. But in 2004, the first photo of a giant squid was taken. They actually exist. Scientists have registered an animal that has grown to 43 feet. Mosquitoes actually bite some people more than others. The most delicious humans are those with type O blood. Also, these insects have really good eyesight. They're attracted by green, black, and red colors. So check the color of your clothes before you go camping. You can actually put a shark in a trance for 15 minutes. To do this, you need to stroke the nose of a dangerous animal with your hand. This sort of hypnosis is called tonic immobility that happens thanks to the receptors in the shark's nose. When stroked, the receptors send a lot of signals and the shark's brain is unable to process them all. Now, what it doesn't say here is exactly how you get close enough to a shark to rub its nose. I'd say that's important information, don't you think? Elephants aren't afraid of mice, per se. But these massive animals have bad vision. They also move fairly slowly. That's why they can get startled by a bird or a small creature, like a mouse darting past them. Just the element of surprise, nothing more. The chameleon can change its color, but this creature doesn't do it to camouflage itself. The color change helps the animal regulate its temperature and communicate with peers. Now, when most dogs pant, their tongues hang out of their mouths. That's why many people think that's how they sweat. In reality, dog sweat glands are located on their paw pads. Plus, there are other sweat glands all over their bodies. Dogs pant to evaporate moisture from their nasal passages, tongues, and the lining of their lungs. This also helps to cool them down. You might leave wasps alone, but don't be so sure they'll do the same. Bees do respect human boundaries, and if you don't bother them, they won't hurt you. But wasps are so bad-tempered, they can sting you even if you're just walking by their nest. Well, phooey on them! Check this out! Each zebra has its own unique pattern of stripes, just as people have their own unique fingerprints. Is it just a myth, or is it the truth? What do you think? It's true! Stripes on each zebra form a unique pattern, so it's impossible to find two zebras that are exactly the same. The stylish black and white pattern serves as an optical illusion to confuse and scare away their key enemies. 
predators and annoying insects such as tsetse flies or horse flies. Zebras are probably aware of how fabulous they are because they take time to groom one another. So, if you ever see two zebras standing close to one another, they aren't biting each other, it's a friendly beauty routine. Unlike humans, zebras can't scratch themselves on their own that easily, so they're just pulling loose hairs off each other. I do that. Although zebras live in herds, they usually create smaller family groups – a male, several females, and their offspring. And each member of that group is unique when it comes to their stripe patterns. All bats are blind. Would you buy it? Nah, it's just a myth. Being blind as a bat is a figure of speech, and it comes from the assumption that bats cannot see properly. In ancient times, also known as before the 21st century, people used to think that bats were blind, judging these charismatic creatures by their weird flight patterns. Many bats do use echolocation to navigate, but still, all of them can see. Here comes the next one. Lobsters are monogamous and stay together for a lifetime. True or false, what do you say? Well, sorry to spoil the romance, but it's just a myth made popular by a famous TV show. In real life, lobsters aren't monogamous at all. Dominant male lobsters mate with several females. And then, one by one, they vanish, only to reappear on a restaurant table with melted butter. Mm. No worries, the animal kingdom still has some hopeless romantics that remain faithful to their mates throughout their lives. Swans, gray wolves, beavers, bald eagles, gibbons, to name a few. You can get warts from handling frogs or toads. What do you think about this rumor? Ah, it's an old myth, probably related to the fact that both toads and frogs have bumps on their skin. Visually, these bumps remind of warts, but they're just glands that never secrete any substances that could cause humans to get warts. There are no amphibians that can give you warts, but shaking hands with another human who has them can. Moving on, turtles live inside their shells, and they can go outdoors anytime. Is it true or false? It's a myth. Those fairy tale and cartoon turtles pop out of their shells whenever they like. But in fact, saying that turtles live inside their shells is like saying that people live inside their own skin. A shell isn't just a separate empty space that serves as a costume. Although turtles can tuck their limbs inside for protection, it's actually an integral part of the turtle's anatomy. Take a look at the actual structure of its skeleton. The shell is fused to the bones of the skeleton, and the turtle can't live without it. The same goes for tortoises. One major key difference between turtles and tortoises is that tortoises spend most of their time on land, while turtles are designed to hang out in the water. That's why turtles have thinner and more water-dynamic shells, and tortoises' shells are more rounded and domed. Next, koalas' fingerprints are indistinguishable from humans. Does this sound realistic? Although it definitely sounds like it's made up, in fact, it's true. If you compare a human fingerprint to a koala's, you'd hardly be able to tell the difference even under a microscope. When scientists made this discovery, they warned the police because these fluffy little cuties are really capable of confusing forensics at crime scenes. The smart guys suppose that the koala's fingertip features have recently improved independently in their evolutionary history. Koalas' relatives, like kangaroos and wombats, don't have the same features. Koalas probably develop these complicated fingerprints because they help them grip onto leaves and branches more easily. Koalas are known as super fussy eaters. In fact, they prefer eucalyptus leaves of a particular age. Mm. Their sensitive fingers may have evolved as a tool to spot out the right leaves by their texture. Koalas aren't the only mammals with human-like fingerprints, by the way. Finger patterns of chimps and gorillas are also pretty complex. Well, I hate to break this to you, but the sun isn't really yellow. Technically, the light it gives off is white. It's all because of the atmosphere, um, our atmosphere. There's an effect called Rayleigh scattering. That's when the gases in the atmosphere bend the light. The same effect is the reason why the sky seems to be blue, or why sunsets look like a stunning combination of reds and oranges. On a lighter note, if you go into space, you won't immediately be weightless. Scientists mostly agree that space begins where our atmosphere is more or less a vacuum, which is 62 miles up. 
But it's not like you magically become weightless from the moment you pass that point. Let's say you're in a rocket that's speeding up. You'll definitely feel the gravity of our planet. But you'll feel weightless from the moment you start falling down. To orbit something actually means you're falling forever around that particular object. The moon is orbiting us. We're orbiting the sun. Our entire solar system orbits around the center of the Milky Way, our galaxy. That's just a crazy cosmic dance where they're all falling toward one another. So, if you're 250 miles above our planet, you'd have to travel 17,500 miles per hour around the Earth to feel continuous freefall. That's the speed at which the International Space Station and people who work there orbit around our planet. Meanwhile, if you turn the thermostat up high, the rate of heating won't increase. It doesn't put more effort in when you set a higher temperature. For example, if you set the thermostat at 85 degrees Fahrenheit, you won't change the heating speed, only the target temperature. If you set it higher, you might end up wasting more energy, and you'd be too hot. Now, the seven spikes on the Statue of Liberty are not there to represent the seven continents and seven seas, as some previously thought. The spikes stand for sun rays, while the circle is there as some halo. It's like when immigrants arrive on a boat, the statue greets them with, Hello and welcome! Do you still believe that summer is so warm because, at that phase, our planet gets closer to the sun? Well, it's a big fat myth. When it's summer in, say, the northern hemisphere, our planet isn't actually closer to the sun. It's the opposite. The Earth is at its farthest point from the sun during July and at the closest point during January. Summer is warm because our planet is tilted. During its orbit, the Earth's tilt allows the energy coming from the sun to hit us more directly because the angle is steeper. Now, anteaters don't eat ants through their nose. They rip open anthills with their claws and get the ants through the holes with their super long tongues. Those can extend twice as long as their entire heads. The tongues are sticky and covered in tiny spikes, so it's not that hard for them to trap those ants. Anteaters manage to swallow up to 20,000 ants on a daily basis. Now, T. rex didn't have bad vision. Some research showed that they may have had depth perception even better than today's eagles and hawks do. Also, they weren't as fast as they are in the movies. Based on the structure of their body, they were probably moving no faster than 12 miles per hour. Any quicker than that would damage their bones. But that wasn't a bad thing, because the T-Rex would go after dinosaurs way slower than itself most of the time. Ooh, that's one beautiful butterfly. Ooh, don't touch it. It won't be able to fly again. No worries, it's another popular myth. It'll live and still fly if you touch it gently. Butterflies have scales on their wings, which means some might shed off if you touch them. But those scales will shed off naturally anyway. Such sheddable scales may be the reason why they manage to escape when a spider catches them in their web. Now, wolves really don't howl at the moon. It might make a good movie scene, but in real life, they howl because they're active during the night. They look up not to stare at the moon, but because that way, the sound they make will travel better. The rest of the wolves will hear them from distances of 6 to 7 miles away. They howl to communicate with them and even have a special sound they make when they lose their pack. Wolf packs don't necessarily have an alpha leader. When more wolves get together, they get competitive and want to dominate others. So it might seem one always has to end up as an alpha. But when they're in the wild, they stick with their families to help each other. The elder wolves naturally have higher status, similar to many other animal families. Have you ever heard that giraffes only sleep for half an hour a day? Well, it's false. They sleep approximately four and a half hours daily. That's fairly normal amongst animals that are active during the day. They tend to lay down and go to sleep for less than 11 minutes at a time. Crocodilia, the order to which crocodiles and alligators belong, can't run as fast as a racehorse. That's a myth. They can reach up to 12 miles per hour when they're on land, but even when they do, they can't move at such speeds for a long time, maybe 60 to 80 feet before they get tired. A really fast human will move at 12 miles per hour while walking, so many people could outrun a crocodile without even breaking into a run. But it's different when they're in the water, when they move at speeds of more than 20 miles an hour. Trying to outswim them uh, is probably not a good idea. Crocodilia are not lizards. They're not even related. 
They may look similar, but these two are completely separate orders. Archosaurs have two lineages. One includes birds and dinosaurs, and another one includes crocodiles. Lizards have nothing to do with them, the snobs. Alligators and crocodiles are basically the same. <laughs> Here's another myth. They do come from the same family and look pretty similar, but they had their last common ancestor 65 million years ago. That's a long, long time ago, back when the primates diverged from species such as bats. They look similar because they have an excellent body structure to survive. It means evolution didn't have to add or remove anything to change that. So, what kind of gas do you fill up with? Well, tacos usually do the trick for me, but at the filling station, you've probably noticed different tabs with some numbers on gas pump buttons. Those are octane levels, varying from regular and mid-grade to premium. Each one provides a different level of octane that your specific engine type requires to function effectively. Your choice should be based on the compression ratio of your engine. So, the myth of using premium for a car that requires regular gas to gain better performance or to boost the engine's health is false. Best stick to the fuel recommended for your car. You'll save money buying the correct fuel. But what if you filled your gas tank on a cold morning, allowing the fuel to shrink? Won't it make the fuel denser, providing more value for your dollar? Well, this is another false myth. The supply tanks are buried so deep underground that the temperature inside doesn't change at all. We've all heard that the toilet bowl flushes in the opposite direction in different hemispheres, clockwise in the north and counterclockwise in the south. In theory, the Coriolis effect should indeed make the water move in those directions. But in reality, the departing water is only influenced by how it's flushed, and the direction of the flow doesn't depend on the place. Now, you're caught in a thunderstorm, and there's no shelter around you. Lightning strikes suddenly, and your first thought is to run towards where it just struck. After all, lightning never strikes the same place twice, right? Wrong! The lightning did hit that spot for some reason. This might be a sign that it's a risky place. Such a spot could be easily struck again. Let's find some shelter and stay away from metal objects. Eating before swimming has always been considered dangerous. People believed it caused cramps. But this isn't actually true. The only negative effect of swimming after having a meal is shortness of breath. So just make sure you keep to the shallows as your food goes down. The Great Wall of China is often claimed to be visible from space. But there's actually no building on Earth that can be visible from such a distance. You can see lights on Earth during the night, though. Albert Einstein, the greatest physicist of all time, was often mentioned for his poor math skills. People said he'd failed this subject at school. But even though Einstein did fail an irrelevant entrance exam, he was actually really good at math, even creating his own original proof of the Pythagorean theorem at the age of 12. Uh, such a late bloomer, huh? Spring is in the air. Unfortunately, this isn't the best time for baby birds. They tend to fall out of their nests. Sometimes they end up in a dangerous place and should be taken somewhere safer. But you've probably been told that if someone touches them, their mother will no longer take an interest in raising its young. In reality, birds have a very poor sense of smell and can't tell if a human has made contact. So feel free to place them back into their nest if needed. Given our brains are so large, it's a shame we only use 10% of their capacity. Well, that's another myth. You actually use your brain to the fullest. But different parts of it work at different times during the day. Now, there was a time when warming up your car in cold weather was a necessity. And some people believe it's still true. But today, we use different cars. And it's worse for your vehicle to be left idling for too long. As for warming it up, 30 seconds is all the waiting you need. Now, cartoons might show it differently, but mice are not actually that into cheese. This myth occurred during the Middle Ages. At that time, many foods rats and mice like way more than cheese were out of their reach. For example, people would store grains in jars or keep meat hanging. But cheese usually matured hidden in cupboards or shelves. Rats and mice could easily get to these spots. So people would usually find them there, eating not what they liked the best, but what was within their reach. Now, dogs don't see the world in black and white. 
they do distinguish colors, but not as well as we do. We have three types of cones in our eyes, while dogs only have two of those. Cones are special photoreceptors that help us perceive colors. Dogs can see certain colors, such as blue and yellow, better than the rest, and they can hardly see red and green. Dogs' mouths are by no means cleaner than humans. They have over 600 kinds of bacteria in their mouths, and their saliva doesn't have any healing properties. Opossums have some pretty cool abilities. They have a good memory and immunity to most snakes' venom. They're also very social. But contrary to popular belief, they don't sleep while hanging by their tails. These animals have strong tails, true, and it makes them excellent climbers. But they don't have the necessary muscle structure to hold such a position for a long time. Now, it sure looks like it, but rhino horns aren't made of bone. They're made of keratin, the same material you can find in your fingernails and hair. A horn is not attached to the rhino's skull. Instead, it's like a very, very compacted mass of hair. It grows throughout the rhino's lifetime, just like our nails and hair. The horn also looks like something a rhino can use for its defense, but that's not always the case. Some animals use their teeth to protect themselves against their enemies. No wonder the teeth on their lower jaws are so sharp. If you press the snooze button in the morning, you're not actually going to get those extra 10 minutes of sleep. It sure feels good to postpone getting up and staying in the warm bed at that moment. But the snooze button makes you feel more tired instead of providing you with extra rest. You see, your brain believes it's going to fall asleep again, which is why it will get harder and harder for you to get up when the alarm rings for the second or fifth time. In the long run, the snooze button may mess with your ability to get high-quality deep sleep. Now, when you mention desserts, I always think of chocolate. Oh wait, I did a boo-boo. Let's start that again. When you mention deserts, most people picture endless sandy areas, hot and dry. But you should define deserts not by temperatures, but by a lack of precipitation. Most of the well-known deserts across the world are indeed hot, but some are extremely cold. For example, there are polar deserts in northern Greenland. Um, can we talk about chocolate some more? No? Okay. Watching TV or staring at your computer doesn't give you square eyes or harm them in any way. Your eyes simply become strained and tired after a while. But as long as you blink enough not to let them dry out, they'll be fine. Baldness is a natural occurrence in men. Shampoos, gels, sunlight, hats, and levels of testosterone have all been blamed for the early loss of hair. But natural hair loss is purely hereditary. It can come from both sides of the family, but mainly from the father's genes. We've all swallowed our chewing gum, whether by accident or there wasn't a table to stick it under. Well, don't worry. It won't reappear seven years from now. Your stomach will easily digest it and pass it straight on through. Purchasing makeup in bulk is a great way to save money, as makeup supposedly never expires. But it does. It can also grow bacteria, which will negatively affect your skin. So make sure to renew your supply every 12 months. Another myth about makeup is that it's harmful to the skin. But in reality, it's completely fine and can help protect your skin from pollution. Just don't forget to remove it daily. Vikings have always been admired and popular in cultures around the world. They've been pictured as brave warriors, wearing helmets with horns in them. But the truth is, they never had horns. This image was first portrayed in an opera composed by Wagner in the 19th century. And since then, the horns have been associated with Vikings. You might have been told not to wear red around bulls. But in reality, it doesn't matter what you wear, as these animals can't see color. They're usually provoked by general movement. The Scottish Highlands are synonymous with beautiful landscapes, kilts, and the soothing sounds of the bagpipe. But the bagpipe isn't originally Scottish. This instrument was first used in the Middle East centuries before anyone in Europe had the opportunity to annoy their neighbors by playing this unusual instrument. Now, during deep sleep, you breathe heavily and can accidentally pull into your mouth all kinds of things. That's why you swallow seven spiders on average per year, or so they say. But this is not possible. A spider can find nothing less appealing than a growling, fleshy pile of human that offers no food. It simply won't get near your mouth. Your fingernails don't grow at the same rate. 
The more the hand or finger is used, the more it promotes the growth of the nail. That's why the nails on your dominant hand grow faster than on the other. Ninjas just didn't have one color of their famous ninja uniform. Of course, black was the best to blend in at night. But they also had quite a wardrobe that contained many colors to blend in on other occasions. Shaving your hair won't make it thicker, change its color, or make it coarser. It just appears that way, since new hair start growing back with blunt tips at the ends. The memories of goldfish last way longer than 3 seconds. These creatures can remember things for up to 3 months. You can also teach your goldfish to feed in the same place every day, amongst other tricks. Napoleon was one of the most successful emperors in human history. But in modern times, he sometimes mocked for his short stature. However, at 5 foot 6 inches, he was above the average height for that time. Napoleon even once played point guard for the French national basketball team. Nah, I made that up.